قال رب انا يكون لي غلام ناو حضرت زکریا علیہ الصلاۃ والسلام ناو ہی سیز ٹو اللہ سبحانہ وتعالى او مائی لارڈ ہاؤ کین ائی گیٹ اے سن وقد بلغ لي الكبر ال دو ائی ہیو ریچڈ ویری اولڈ ایج اولڈ ایج ہیز اوور ٹیکن می وامراتی عاقر اینڈ مائی وائف ہیز بین بیرن قال كذلك الله يفعل ما يشاء اللہ سید اللہ ریپلائیڈ ان دس ویری وے اٹ ول ہیپن ڈسپائٹ آل دیز تھنگز اٹ ول ہیپن بیکاز اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی کین ڈو وٹ ایور ہی لائکس قال رب جل لی آیا دین ہی پریڈ او لارڈ گیو می سم سائن اپوائنٹ فار می سم سائن قال آیا تو کا اللہ تو کل من ناس سلاست ایام اللہ رمزا دی ریپلائی واز you will not be the sign for you is that you will not be able to talk to the people to this to speak to the people for three days except with signals and gestures his you know speaking was withheld by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it was a sign that all these news are from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala waskur rabbaka kaseeran and keep remembering allah was subject to the shia wal ibkar and glorify him in the evenings and in the mornings wa is qalat al malaikatu and just remember and recall when the angel said to maryam wa is qalat al malaikatu ya maryam o maryam in the last tafaqi verily allah subhanahu wa taala has chosen you wa tahharake and has purified you mustafa ala lisail alamin and he has chosen you from among all the women of the world ya maryam muqnati li rabbika bi rabbika o maryam be obedient to your lord wasjudi and prostrate before him warkai and bow before him ma raqeen with those who are going with not going before him zalika min anba'il ghaib nuhihi ilaik these are the news from the unseen that we are revealing to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa ma kunta ladaihi bi yulquna planahu you were not present with them when they were casting their pens casting their lots with their pens to decide ayyuhum yaqfalu maryam who will be the take the charge of maryam all the people you know all the servants of the temple of solomon they wanted to have mary in their custody now to choose maryam will remain with whom they were casting their ballot with their pens to decide and allah subhanahu wa taala made it that the decision was for hazrat zakriya alaihi salatu wasalam as had been mentioned already wama kunta ladaihi o muhammad sallallahu alaihi you were not with them when they were casting their ballots with their pens wama kunta ladaihi is yahtasimun and you were not with them when they were fighting and quarreling with each other or arguing with each other and competing and disputing with each other who will keep mary who will keep maryam in his custody is qalat al malaika and now remember the time recall the time when the angel said ya maryam inna allah yubashshiruka bi kalimatin min o maryam verily allah subhanahu wa taala gives you the good tidings and the good news of a word from him hazrat masih alaihi salam a word from allah subhanahu wa taala ismuhu al masihu isa ibn maryam his name will be al masih isa ibn maryam son of maryam wajihan fi dunya wal akhirah illustrious and honorable in this world also and in the hereafter wa min al muqarrabin and he will be from among the nearest of him who will be nearest to god subhanahu wa taala hazrat masih alaihi salam will be one of them min al muqarrabin wa yukallimun nas fi al mahd and he will speak to the people while in cradle wa kahla and also when he will be of mature age this is very important this kahlan word because as the history goes hazrat masih alaihi salatu wassalam was raised to heaven according to our beliefs and was crucified according to the christian belief when he was only 33 years and this word is not applicable to a person of a 33 years only quran has used this special word kahlan this kahul is definitely after 40 years so hazrat masih alaihi salam will have an age where he will be this word applicable will be applicable to him and kahlan and that will be after his second descent when he comes again second coming of jesus alaihi salatu wassalam 
This is a common creed and belief between us and the Christians. Second coming of Jesus. But the difference is that they believe that Jesus was crucified. Then he was resurrected and then he was raised to the heaven. And what we believe is that he was not at all crucified. He was raised alive to the heaven and then both agree that he will come again. So this is a common point and we must remember it here and we should repeat it here in this society where you are living. That these points are common and the only difference is we believe that he was a prophet of Allah. They believe that he was a part of deity. There is the, that's the difference. But you know as regards the person of Jesus wasalam, that he was born without a father. This is common between us and Christians. Virgin Mary. She, she gave birth to Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wasalam. Then he was raised to the heaven. That was all that is common between us and the Christians. The difference is only that they think that he was crucified, then resurrected and then raised. We say not at all. He was not at all crucified. Wa ma wa ma salamuhu. Walakin The matter was become, you know, doubtful for them. Was made doubtful by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then again we agree that he will return and he will come again. So these are the points which are common between Muslims and Christians. So word kahla is here very important. Although we can see that there was no need of using this word. Everybody when he is mature of age, he speaks. Why was it mentioned? Actually speaking in the cradle was something you know, very extraordinary. So it was mentioned. If it is very uh, natural that it should have, should have been mentioned. But why kahla? There was no need of saying it. The only need is that we must know that he is to come again. Because among the Muslims, so-called Muslims also, there are some people who don't give due importance to the ahadith. They have doubts about these things, which I am telling you. He will be from among the righteous people. The same answer, the same thing that Hazrat Zakriya had said, Anna yakunuli gulam. How can there be a son for me when I have been overtaken by old age and my wife has been barren all the, all the life? The same type of astonishment. Hazrat Maryam said, No man has even touched me, ever touched me. How can I give birth to a son? The same answer was given. It will happen like this. Allah create whatever He likes and however He likes, in whichever way He likes. His condition is that when He has decided and decreed something, He only says be and it becomes. 